All right, guys, so we have another round two. Go ahead and tell them to go. Oh, uh, yeah, we're, we are joined by uh, Cheddar Bob once again. So, um, yeah, go ahead and tell them to go, Cheddar Bob. Let's, let's, let's stop this set three action. Let's get to the duel. Uh, I just uh, I just messaged Market09. That's what I'm calling him. Yep. Market. Or Mr. KT09. Yeah, whatever it is. And then you said yeah. the other guy's name was what now? Killing Spree with Killing one spree. E. A Killing Spree with one E. Or Killing Spree. <laughs> Killing Spree. Uh, Killing Spree. <laughs> yo, you, yo, you been Killing Spree? <laughs> uh, you guys are probably sick of me right now, but I don't care. The viewers are probably sick of my voice by now. <laughs> no, I messaged the guy. Uh, I guess he, I guess he doesn't like listen to you. <laughs> He's messaged yeah. me. <laughs> He's just like, just I, don't, I don't, I don't warrant the same. I don't warrant nearly as much authority as uh, the great legendary <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh Jesus. <laughs> it happens. I don't know. I, I haven't inherited your powers, despite commentating with you for what <laughs> five, six matches oh, right now. Oh my god, a lot. Um. Yeah. I still have yet to hear a good cheese pun, by the way. Uh, uh, let me. Uh, let me. Yeah. Feta, cheddar, uh, gouda. Uh, I, haven't, <laughs> I haven't heard. Yeah. No, well, I remember uh, when I commentated the first match. You know, I challenged all our all the viewers to leave in the comments. You know, their best cheese pun. Uh, I challenged them to find a cheese pun that I hadn't heard. Yeah. Uh, they have. Uh, they failed you. They haven't, yeah. So far, uh, I've been not impressed. But, uh, so we got a strong opening play from... Oh, wait, it hasn't started yet. Uh, <laughs> what, what do you want about? What match are you watching? Strong opening play in the uh, form of Upstart Goblin. <laughs> got a, uh, yeah, that's the best opening play. What? Right. Uh, wrong way. Wrong way, market. There you go. <laughs> Oh, I get it. Market 09, because, like, the stock market crashed in 09, or not crashed, but, like, the recession in 09, oh, that and, was, he lost, and he lost life points. That was, like, that was 08, though. Like, well, I thought it was late 08, early 09. Uh, that's not like that. I don't know. Um, bunch I don't of, know. A bunch of fabricated bullshit is what it was. I mean, what? <laughs> oh, Ignite! Ignite! <laughs> Yo, I told you in the last match that if I make it to the final, I'm playing Ignite FUK. Um, I really hope he's not doing it. <laughs> I really hope he's not doing it, because then I'll have to do something else. Someone messaged me and they go, you made you made a Yu-Gi-Oh card, Larvae Moth, into a meme. Are you proud? <laughs> I mean, I mean, there's been like, I mean, I don't know who made other cards into memes. I, I don't know, but, like, but it, but it, it wasn't me. I can't take all the credit. Like, it's been widely acknowledged for a long time that it's a terrible card. But, yeah, like, I, I, I'm, I just like, took it to that next that, level. Like, really, like, yeah, I, I really forced... just shoved it down everybody's throat. <laughs> like, this is the best card ever. Be like, be like, this card is amazing. Everybody <laughs> know it. Witness me. Dude, dude, I beat DDDs with it in that one video. No. Do you, remember, do you remember that? I, I, I legit beat DDDs because I had a skill drain up and he burned himself to death with his damn spells. <laughs> Dude, I would be so salty if I was that guy. <laughs> so I literally, it was in, I think it was in 2012 in like rabbit wind up format. I literally decked a, I decked a rabbit, or there were two things I did with Spirit Reaper. One, I decked out a rabbit guy. Two, I made a wind-up player burn himself to death with his own acid golem. Dang, dude. Only be because of a spirit reaper. Broke. Like, right, so was... he's oh, so he's going for the pendulum summon now. It looks like he's going to pin at least two. Yep. Um, got that. All right, so he doesn't have the FTK here. Unless he has, like, either two... Unless he has two more ignites in his hand. Well, he's going first. There's no, there's no FTK. No, FTK. Do you not know the Ignite FTK? Uh, I guess I don't. Oh, now I have to play it. <laughs> oh, damn it. See, I started that as a joke, and now the more I've said it, the more I actually, like, kind of want to do it. So so what is the FTK? Like, I, I, it so, sounds familiar. I, I, it seems no, like it, I've heard it, that. It's basically, the TLDR version is, it ends with the Blaze Phoenix FTK, because of course it ends with Blaze Phoenix. Right, right. Um... All 
all you need is any four ignites, um, and two of them have to either be level four or level six. Mm. Well, specifically level six, but you guys made Levamal Chain legal, so they can also be done with two fours. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, but just four total ignites. Okay. Uh, or like three plus ignition phoenix. That's pretty good. And it's like, yeah, it's literally. Oh, we have fluffles again. We broke. Oh yeah. uh, well, Nick, Nick played fluffles round one, I think. Okay. Okay. Uh, so not necessarily again, again. Yeah. But yeah, the the ignite FDK, like, it's really it's really scary because it literally has like a sixty five percent chance of just killing you if it goes first. Yeah. Like. That's pretty good. Uh, and it's fairly safe. To, as far as hand traps go, um, <laughs> like well, see what, what I find interesting. Like I probably like not knowing what my opponent was playing, I probably would have gone for like tornado dragon. Is uh, it me, or does that seem to be a pattern? Like I've, it's, or is it might it might just be the last few matches we've seen? But mm -hmm. it seems to me that like a bunch of people are making lightning turn one, and I'm really not sure why. Uh, I just feel like, like I think the uh, I forget his name now. But the Sateller player did that in in the Cosmo match we commentated, I think. Maybe. Um, he has bare wings, though, so that's a thing. Yeah, bare wings uh, is just too strong. No, no, he doesn't have wings. Well, oh, I mean, no. he, he, Oh, yeah, he did banish it. Yeah, yeah, he did. Herb Derp, Ke Herb Derp Kelly Turp. I looked away for a minute. That's why I didn't see his banish file. Kelly Turp. Oh, dude, <laughs> Kelly. What's a Kelly Turpin? <laughs> All right, well, oh, there's Penguin. Oh my gosh, the pink one is so good. It's so good. See, it's funny because I'm watching the Stanley Cup Finals and the Pittsburgh Penguins are in it. <laughs> and, I really, and I really want them to lose. Dude, the Rangers are on a freaking losing streak. Are they playing right now? I can't remember. Or maybe they'll have a day off. But, uh, yeah, they freaking lost every game in the series against the Astros, and I'm just like... <laughs> Aren't the Astros, like, super legit, though? Dude, they're really, really good. Yeah, but still... Yeah, like... Springer, Altuve, like I know Altuve is like really good, but then Springer's like, like, yeah. yeah. Okay, so yeah, they play the oh dude, they play your Mets uh, tomorrow. The Rangers do. Right? What yeah. the hell is going on with my Mets? <laughs> <laughs> this fucking bullpen. <laughs> I can't. Dude, they're tell me about it. Tell me about it, man. Because like you know the what Rangers happened yesterday, uh -uh. they literally had like a delay because the. So at City Field, it, it says it was because it was um, a Sunday thing. They literally have during every se every seventh inning, inning stretch. Right. They have a live performance of God Bless America uh -huh. on Sundays. Right. So at the end of the seventh seventh inning, uh, what's his fuck Walker, um, our second baseman, you know, he turns a double play, and oh my God, the instant fusion too, um, and you know it's. And the Pirates wait until after the seventh inning stretch performances are done to say to the umps, yo, we want to challenge this. Wait, you can do that? What? Yeah, you can instant fuse. You, you, yeah, you can, you, you can instant fuse for sheep. Yeah. I thought it had uh, the stipulation on yeah, it. No, oh, it, uh, it, it does not. It Oh, that's actually, oh, that's so good. Dude, Sam does that crap all the time. Like, I read that, yeah, I did that same thing. I was like, you can't do that. And I was like, oh, shit, you can't. You I know? think you could get weird out, but I forgot. I didn't know the Fluffles, I thought the Fluffles had the restriction, or the Fri Fluffles. Thryfers had the restriction of, like, it must be fusion zone first or whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that's so good, because now he has to bring it back with the same. Oh, that's so good. Right, but we might have a, we might have a ruling situation here. Well, because it's treated as a fusion summon. Because of instant fusion. Well, he plays playing cat for some reason. That's in that's interesting. Let's him get back to Polly. Yes. Well, I guess it takes the place of fusion recovery. Yeah. That seems like that seems like a decent one. I was. Wait, cat, why is he? Cat's and decent. he pitched Bender off the of penguin. Oh so my good. gosh! And then search Bender. Oh my god! That's so god. good. Five cards in hand, three on field. No, I'm saying we might have a ruling question because of sheep and lightning. Um, Cause, well, what would be the question? Because uh, sheep has a lightning effect, if I remember. Hold on. Uh, if this card battles, your opponent cannot activate the cards or effects until the end of the damage step. So I think neither player would be able to activate their effects. 
if 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 she battles lightning. If this card battles your opponent, I'm using my left hand. Hold on. Let me just use my right hand to stop being lazy. Okay, so that's what she said. Yeah. So factory that uses. Is he making another saber tire? Until the end of the damage step. So yeah, that's really interesting. So they both are. Uh, you know, nope, there's another saber tire. <laughs> Oh wow! So neither of these saber tigers can be destroyed by card effects. Can be destroyed by battle or card effects. Bro. And actually, is this game? No. Uh, because let's see. Oh my gosh, she's still I, going. Now I think it's game. What does Kraken take again? Oh no, he's just making wolf. Or Kraken. I don't know what is Kraken. Can't Kraken sins, so he might make Kraken. Oh, he makes a tiger. Oh, tiger. Yeah. oh no, yeah, that's it. I think that's it. So the tiger is gonna pop uh, the lightning, lightning and, and a scale. Fluffles, everybody. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> Why is this deck so consistent? Because they <laughs> gave it like so much. They they, oh, they just shout out so much support for it. That's why. So God damn it. <laughs> 2k up, yeah. And uh, that's 2k, 28, 28. Uh, Wait, why is 2k up? Wait. No, 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 hold on. Uh, the boost off by first, yes, gain 400, so, so it's 2400, yeah, so it, it stacks. So it's actually 2800, 2800, 2800, and then uh, uh, 27. Yeah. Well, I think the, the tiger boosts everything by 300 per. So oh, so Tiger, tiger boosts, boosts too. Oh, so by 12. Oh my gosh. So yeah. the sheep gets 800 from the two saber toots and then another 12. So yeah, the sheep is literally 4k. Dude. Or everything gets boosted by 2k. That's oh, that's filthy. <laughs> that's 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 dirty as shit. Well, like all he, I mean, this board just ended with. I mean, he didn't even have like a Reflasia or anything. Like he just had, you know, when he's playing a 41 card deck. Like, he just had lightning, what? like like going, Which, and he's going like, first again. Man, I don't know. Uh, he's going first no, again. Ignites you have, ignites you have to go first. Like you literally have to. Um, like if you get struck, because waffles, like I think we discussed in the last waffle match we did, um, where you would side traps or whatever. Mm -hmm. And if you're in, if you're playing ignites and you get hit with any sort of back row, you literally lose on the spot. Um. This is not my day. Bro, just play Ignite FT. Oh my god, did he just leave an open board against Fluffles? Oh, well. Ignite Exodia. Oh. That's not even the good Ignite FTK. Wow. He just, he just left an open... The more I say open... it out loud, the more I actually want to do it. <laughs> he just left an open board versus Fluffles. Oh, That's like... Get... Oh, this is going to get worse before it gets better. It really <laughs> is. Oh, no. Is this gas wings again? Oh, oh, he pitched a vendor off vendor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he's 0 for 2 in toy vendor draws, but it, like, it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. You just lose. Uh, make a play. Okay. Leave your board open. You lose. Make a play. Congratulations. You still lose. Right. <laughs> uh. That's how you. That's how you at the time. Like I had, like a, I already had like a couple invites for the year. And this was last year, and I was like trolling with the evil swarms, and like I, uh, I bubbled. I placed thirty sixth with evil swarms, <laughs> with demise evil swarms, and then I went up against Dang. Sam in the final. I went up against Sam in the final match, and I just made Opion against this fucking Fluffles, and he couldn't do shit. <laughs> Can he make rank fours? Or was this before? No, no, he was like, yeah, well, think, 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 dude. Like, I'm playing, not only am I playing Evil Swarms, but Evil Swarms play 20 traps. So it's like. Right, yeah. True. Yeah, yeah. So if you summon, when you summon something, it was like, it was like Strike, Solemn, you know what I mean? It was like, yeah, it was bad. So he goes over the Penguin. Hmm. I mean, I get, it gets, I mean, it gets the Penguin off the. Uh, Ghost Ogre is once per turn. No, still there is one's uh, let, We can't. Let Nick go. Uh, no, he's viewing the he grave. Can't. Yeah, he oh, caught no. it. He caught it. Caught it. Caught it. That is literally the sole reason. Yeah, once per turn claws, claws on ogre. Yeah. That's literally the sole reason why I won't play three ghost ogres. Um, is because like. It's a dead card. It's well, a tuner, but. Usually, usually it, it depends. Uh, 
what's cool about like the ghost ogre like archetype is that like they're all tuners so that if you do brick with them in hand you can still use them and what's cool is they can actually be sent from hand or feet for yeah. their effect yeah unlike something well well i don't know if ash can do that i know ghost ogre can do that um so like you can literally like pendulum summon it and so you could literally e for it on your opponent's turn from the deck and then have it as you know a trap yeah you know, pretty legit. So he got ghost over with the penguin, but it's cool. Norden OP. Norden. Um, <laughs> See what I, I, I don't think he's got the OTK here. I I, I want to say that what he's gonna do and like I mean he might try to fuse here, but he might just go Bahamu. No, we banned Toad, so <laughs> never mind. <laughs> he might just go. I like that. No, but um, no. It's what do you mean he doesn't have the OTK? Waffles. You always have no, 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 look, look at that. He's going for a rank four. So he might go fairy cheer girl here. And then draw the OTK. Yeah, and then draw the OTK. We'll see. Um, oh, no. Tornado. He's going Tornado that's Dragon. Actually, that's not a bad play because he, he, he could, knows... He could pop his he own He knows vendor. that he has a ghost ogre. He knows that he has a ghost ogre. Um, and he also lets him blow up a scale to prevent him from... To make it at least harder to go off with Ignite shenanigans. Yeah, and he, and he can pop his vendor right now. Because it's, yeah. it's on either player's side of the field with a uh, tornado, so. Yep. Oh, I uh, yeah. I've he, decided. Set, he set a card. Show me the anti-spell. No way. Show me the anti-spell. <laughs> no way. Nick, do it. Do it. No. Nope. Summoner's art. He would have flipped right. it already if he had it. Yeah. It would have been well, like draw phase. Probably... <laughs> if that's like... Let's see, if, if that back row is anything real, then Ignites literally can't do anything. Like, they have no way to play through back row. They're all vanillas. Yeah. Like, you have your normal summon, and you have your pendulum summon, and that's literally it. You have no way to summon anything else. You have no way to out anything. Like, that that's kind of my... It's the same problem that Dragoonities have, but Dragoonities have at least, like, Soul Charge or Instant Fusion to at least try to play through back row. Ignites, if your pendulum summon gets striked, then that's it. It's, yeah. It's, it's done. Um, Dude, so. don't don't play ignites. You'll you'll lose so bad. <laughs> Cause if you go against like fluffles or something, well, it doesn't matter. I'll kill. I'll just I'll just play Phoenix. <laughs> right, I literally yeah. I literally am tempted to do it. Like actually, just cause I hate life. Just just to make a point that you guys thought FTKs in this tournament would not be possible. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> Unless you ban Blaze Phoenix before top four, I'm going to do it. <laughs> so he goes Norden, but I don't think he, but with no target and grave. Oh, what is he doing? Tribute summon? Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's when you know you're fucked. But then again, he might smack into the Tornado Dragon. He could have brought back Ghost Oak. <laughs> oh, no, he's not. Wow, so he doesn't have scales. I was going to say, he could suicide uh, into the Tornado well, Dragon, set well, scales, and pin had, summon. Even if he had scales, we, well, we know for a fact from the misplay that he that of the three cards left in his hand, one of them is a Ghost Oak. Yeah, that's true. So even if he had scales, like he, he couldn't pendulum more than one. Yeah, during your invasion. Oh, boy. Oh, he's going to go uh, Tornado Dragon, pop Vendor. So. Yeah. Yeah. I really wonder what that back row is. It's probably a strike. Like. But why didn't he ghost ash the tornado dragon? Because ghost ash is banned. No, not ghost ash. I mean ghost ogre. <laughs> Whatever. Um, he probably didn't. Cause there's probably he did, probably didn't deem it as relevant. Like, cause it, that it, ghost ogre is basically his only line of defense at this point. So he wants to save it for something that he knows can kill him. Right, but it's a 2100 body. I don't know. Well, he would get the... Well, he would get the vendor search regardless. True. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, I know so, that, like, but... Whereas, like, if he ghost over something like... Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, I don't really know what he ghost over in. Well, I was, I was going to say Tiger, but, like, the, the structure chain link so that you can't. So... I mean, I don't think it's going to matter here, ultimately. But, like, he could ghost over that, I guess. Um, just to get a fluffle gone. Yeah, that's probably what he's going to do here. Yeah. Which, like, I understand the, 
logic behind that, because now, okay, so we know he has a penguin and two polys, right? Yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. He's, so, um, <coughs> he's going to make, well, he's, at he's, most, he only has one more flaw. He's probably going to make Tiger here yeah. and pop the Ignite. Yeah, which would be game. Well, he's got, oh, he's going to crack it. Uh, actually. It's uh, alright. He's not gonna activate Kraken because of the yeah. Ogre. That's, what, that's what I was gonna say. I don't. I didn't know if I should say it. Um, because we're on stream, but I doubt Nick is, is stream sniping at this point. No. Um, yeah, we're, we're we're not on stream. We're recording. Oh. Oh. Okay. Then that's fine. <laughs> um, yeah, I was gonna say like if he doesn't use the Kraken, he's likely missing the game. But he's still going in because why the fuck not? Um. Wow. Why is he summoning that sabers in defense mode though? He or he could use the kraken effect and then oh he is using the kraken effect. Oh you know what he's gonna do because he has another poly he's gonna go uh, saber tiger with the sabers and the uh, mm -hmm. the other thing. Oh killing spree. Oh why are you just being such a killjoy? Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> I hate. Real talk, I hate it when people say that. Like, why are you keep going? You already have lethal. Well, I don't actually. Like, well, actually, he did. If you summon the uh, sabers and attack, because uh, oh no no no, sabers has to summon a defense position. Oh, does it? Yep. Yep. Just read it. That's why okay. he didn't summon it. Because I was wondering about that myself. Yeah. Probably. But now he. Now yeah. he's got it. That's what I was saying. Now he's gonna make saber tiger and then win. Um. Except when. Yeah, either way, because like even when if he if he ghosts, yeah, if, even yeah. if he ghosts the tiger, yeah, you still right. got it. Wow, that quick two o back to back two o's. Oh my gosh. I just uh, I hate it when when people are like, oh, why'd you keep going? You had the OTK multiple times, like like I mean I know it's not super relevant now. Oh, it was I, a Grisale. Yeah, mm. which is clutch. Yeah. Um, oh, it's, he was doing the Hope Zexal Turbo variant, mm. which is like the other super degenerate build. But I think the, the actual FTK build is better, because like it's it's the, an FTK. Uh, <laughs> well, okay, the Hope Zexal build isn't an FTK, but like it's um like you have to draw the rank up with it, but then if you draw it, then it's a brick. Right. Like, the whole Zexel, Zexel build is a little bit less consistent, and then if they kaiju the Zexel, then it's just gone. For sure. Uh, whereas the FTK, it's like, unless they have a Veiler, like, you don't even care about Ghost Ogre. It's unless they have a Veiler, you literally win. <laughs> Makes sense. Damage drawn up Ignite, despite running 20 copies in the deck. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah, that's how, yeah, that's just, that's just unfortunate. No, but that literally, you just play, like, a shit ton of Ignites. And you just draw any four of them, and you just win. Um, it's actually I'm gonna do it. Like I'm, I've made up my mind. I'm gonna do it. Let's um, go for it. If you think it'll win, I'm gonna. Oh, I don't. Uh, I don't think. I think it'll win game one if I if I go if I win rock paper scissors. <laughs> and then I don't know what to do. <laughs> but I just want to get the FTK off. Right. Uh, Anyways, though. Like, it's, like, yeah. I think that's going to cut it short for this. Too bad it was just a 2-0, but I'm gonna, I have to upload uh, this video and then the one we recorded earlier. So, yeah. as always, guys. What? Sorry, I will go to bed now. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> Dick slap the like button and subscribe.